Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this tutorial uh, we're gonna talk about how to parse web pages uh, and uh, how to use regular expressions to, to do so. We're gonna uh, use Python to do that because Python is uh, very good at parsing uh, a large amount of text files. For example, if you have a, a 21 gigabyte text file or even more you can parse it very easy in Python and uh, it's also a great uh, programming language and a pleasure to program in it. So, uh, for example, we have a web page and uh, we want each of these uh, variable. So we have a top uh, 100 green companies, okay? And uh, here on this web page, uh, they, they got listed their name, uh, location and uh, website address and we want to to process this da data into uh, our choice of uh, of uh, format and uh, let's uh, let's see how we can do this in python so the first thing you need to do is to install python and uh, go on python.org slash download and uh, if you're on Windows, choose either the x86 version or uh, 64 version. Okay, we'll use Python uh, 3.2. <coughs> After you install it, just install it. Open your Eclipse. Go to Help. Go to Eclipse Marketplace. And uh, go to the popular tab okay and uh, on uh, the bottom uh, you probably find the PDF Python ID for Eclipse and just click install it after you've done that go to Windows preferences open up a PDF so you'll have to restart Eclipse okay after that go open PDF in preferences go to interpreter Python click new and and just uh, uh, click python.exe uh, where it is installed and click open click OK and uh, click OK again and click apply and uh, it's gonna create uh, some uh, some files that PDF uses then you can click OK okay now let's create a new project actually I don't know if you'll see PDF project but you can click other go to PDF and select a PDF project okay click next let's uh, name it web page parser select python select grammar version I don't know why uh, probably in later uh, versions of PDF uh, it's gonna use grammar version of 3.2 but uh, 3 is okay for what we we are doing okay click finish and uh, here let's create a folder name source and inside it let's create um, a file name main.p and actually let's test if this is working so hello world and let's just run it and it's working okay so what we need to do now is to uh, download not this one download uh, the source of this web page okay so let's put it in a variable 
actually uh, if you don't have experience with python uh, just go with me and uh, you'll catch uh, things uh, as i as i show you i'll uh, also put the source code available uh, in the description so uh, you you can just copy paste it then now we we have to pay attention uh on how this um, actually let's uh, let's view, view the source and uh, if you can see uh, here is a here, here is a string we're interested about so we have to make a regular expression that uh, puts each of uh, this uh, information into to variables. So uh, we're just uh, and for that uh, there is a website called pythonregex.com and it's uh, it's simply a, a tool for. Uh, for easy use of uh, regular expressions, so let's just copy uh, the web page source. You can do it here or, of course, here, and just paste it into the string. And uh, let's copy this string over here. I'm sorry. Let's let's copy this one. So we need a regular expression that. Um, Let's compare it. something like this. So, uh, how to to get the matches? You simply uh, put parentheses and um, let's put some matches where we are interested in in getting the info. Okay, and you have to escape uh, the slash with a, a backslash. So remember that also. There are many sites with a regular expression tutorials. You can look over there, and uh, there you go. And uh, Here's how to do it. Just copy this regular expression. So we have to compile a, a syntax for this. And uh, let's put it the find all uh, method into a variable. So And uh, let's see if uh, we, we've got what we want. So okay, so we've got uh, some some uh, matches. And of course, we can do something like uh, like this. If we want uh, just the the names, but we have a small problem. Actually, uh, some of them appear with a br. That means our uh, expression isn't. Uh, that good we can go back and uh, try to parse it a little more or we can just uh, say like this and uh, location yeah location uh, place
anyway uh, this is it about uh, this small python tutorial so i hope uh, you guys uh, you'll use it uh, or at least try to to use it in your to help you with your android applications and uh, also check uh, check uh, <laughs> check those secret videos okay for the descriptions don't forget that the secret videos uh, just read the description of this tutorial